hey, I'm trying my best today, and uh, I might cough during the stream, so if that's going to bother you, you might want to skip this one. I just want to warn you ahead of time, I'm sick and will probably cough. Uh, oh, Bell Bell. Okay, I've also got some news about Bella. Um, this morning, I had to take her to the vet, and she is down here right now. Hold on. Come here, pumpkin. She cannot get up on the couch by herself, so I'm going to have to help her. She wants up here. And I'll tell you guys what happened. Oh, oh, come here. No, oh, Bella, don't jump. Don't jump, honey. Don't jump. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. There you go. There you go. So, Bella has a back injury. Um, this morning, I woke up, and she was acting really weird. She was like, I took her out. I, was, I took her outside. She wouldn't go down the stairs. And I was like, okay, that's weird. Maybe she's just tired or something. So I took her down the stairs and put her down. I carried her down and put her down. She would walk a few steps and then she would just immediately sit down and start shivering. And I was like, that's weird. So I thought, well, maybe she doesn't like the pavement. So I put her on the grass. She went pee and then she walked a few steps and she sat down and started shivering. And I was like, something's wrong. This is not like her. So I carried her back upstairs and, she, and I tried to give her her treat. She wouldn't eat. She wouldn't drink any water. She was acting weird. She just wanted to lay there. I, I was like, I gotta take her to the vet immediately. So I called my vet and they were like, can you get her here in 15 minutes? And I was like, yes. And they were like, the doctor's leaving early today. So you gotta get her here right now. So I just threw on some clothes and ran her down there. And the doctor, the first thing she did was start like touching her spine and doing these tests with her legs and stuff. And she was like, I think she might have a collapsed disc. So they took her back and gave her an x-ray. She does not have a collapsed disc, but she does have a narrowing in her uh, spine. The doctor said it's very common for dachshunds when they get older to, to have this. It's like a genetic thing that they get sometimes. And uh, so she's not feeling well, as you can see. She's very uncomfortable. Um, they, she's not gonna need surgery or anything. They gave me, <coughs> sorry, I told you I was gonna cough. Um, they gave me three different medications that I have to give to her three times a day. Um, I have to give her a steroid, a gabapentin, which is for pain, and then also a muscle relaxer. Um, they said after I give her all this medication, it, she should be back to normal, like she should be able to function, she should be able to walk fine and everything, but worst case scenario, if it gets worse, if she starts to like drag her legs and not be able to work, walk or something like that, then it's going to be an emergency situation and I'm going to have to take her to Little Rock there's nowhere in my town that could do the surgery. She would need a spinal surgery. But um, as of right now, she's okay. She's just, she's just got like a narrowing in one of her discs and she's uncomfortable, but um, she's gonna be sleeping a lot because of the medication that they gave. But they, uh, she's on a pain medicine, a steroid, an anti-inflammatory that's gonna like reduce the inflammation there in her spine and then also a muscle relaxer. So um, she, it was really easy to give her the medication. I just put it in peanut butter. And it was really easy. So, um, yeah, best case, full, recover, full recovery, worst case, spinal surgery, yeah. So, I'm just keeping an eye on her. It's going to be like two weeks of medication. And they said, the vet said, if, you know, it gets worse, but not like so bad she can't walk or like if she's not improving, then I have to call back. Um, but, yeah, I, she can't, she can't jump. She can't go down the stairs. Um, she can't do, she can walk. She can walk, but she can't like get up on the couch or get up on the bed or anything like that. Poor baby, it breaks my heart. And I, I like I don't know if she jumped and, and like tweaked it or something, or if it just like happened. The doctor said it's they're genetically predisposed to it. So she said that dachshunds, their little uh, spinal, their little uh, spinal discs are not you know made like other dogs, and it happens a lot in dachshunds. Yeah. One of your dogs had a seizure the other day. Oh my gosh, Kayla, I'm so sorry. Yes, I am taking very good care of her. I am uh, babying her, giving her her meds, giving her lots of love and attention. And uh, poor Morty, he was, he was freaking out because uh, he, I had to leave him here alone when I took Bella. Because I was like, I'm not taking you with me. And he was freaking out. He was crying and whining because we left him here alone. I think it's the only time he's been left alone in his life. <laughs> Your dog has been sick all summer and needs <coughs> multiple... <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> I have been very sick for a long time. 
I'm starting to get better though. Um, oh my gosh, so my vacation was fantastic. It was, it was, it was so much more than I thought it was going to be. It was so much better than I thought it was going to be. And it really helped me a lot with like body issues and stuff. Like I still have them, but it helped me a lot um, in that department just to be able to kind of accept myself and, and realize that other people don't really give a shit about me as much as I thought they did. You know, you, you always care about how you look more than other people care. You just rescued a six-year-old dog who was in your profile pic. Oh, that's so sweet, Scooby-Doo. Oh, also the dogs got groomed, so they got their hair cut. Let me see if I can show you Morty over here. There's my little Mart Mart. Say hello, Morty. Morty's feeling fine. Look, he's got his little fall bandana on, y'all. He's got his little bandana on, it's so cute. It's coming loose though, I'm gonna take it off soon. I keep it on him as long as I can because it's so cute. Um, and I'm sorry, I just wanted to tell you guys what was going on because Bella came over here uh, wanting to get on the couch, so I had to explain that, so I didn't get the chance to say hi to everybody. Um, let's see, hi, I'll say hi to everybody as I see you. Natasha, Olya, Ciaran, I know I'm saying that wrong still, Amber I, Nikki, Snickerdoodle, Kayla, Nathan and Hendrick, Scooby-Doo. Um, I know there's probably more people, but that's who I saw. How's the dog food situation? Do I need to order more? You never need to, Olya. I mean, I can always use it, but you never feel obligated to. Um, do you struggle with body dysmorphia? I don't know if I do, but I probably do. Because I still feel like I'm very hugely overweight, but I'm obviously not, according to the scale, but I still feel like I am, so I don't know. I probably do. Um, I, I have made some changes to my lifestyle that I'm going to be talking about in today's vlog that I'm going to publish today. I wanted to publish the vlog this morning before I got to the live stream so I could talk to you guys about this more, but I had the emergency with Bella so I didn't get a chance to edit. Um, but there is going to be a vlog coming out later today. And we're going to go in a minute, um, after we have our little chat, we're going to go cook and I need to make some more hair rinse. One thing also, look at my hair. Um, by the way, I think it looks beautiful. I have not been blow drying it. I have been air drying it again, and I have been using only my natural homemade products in it. And I feel like it makes such a difference. When I was blow drying it and using the store-bought shampoo, I felt like it was just like lifeless and dry, and I don't know, but when I just air dry it and let it just have its natural texture, um, I love it. I think it looks, I think it's been looking so pretty lately. So that's what I'm going back to doing. And I'm doing um, rosemary oil because obviously I'm still thin. So I'm doing rosemary oil. I want to get one of those mas scalp massager things. And I've seen people on, on YouTube shorts with these things. I don't know what they are, but it's like some kind of little scalp massager um, to, put, to get the oil in there. You made my herbal hair rinse and you love it. Yay, I'm so glad, Natasha. I do too. I love it. I love the way it makes my hair look and feel. Air drying is your go-to as well. I, I used to only air dry. Oh, they're called scalp rollers. Okay, I gotta get one of those. Thank you, thank you for telling me what they're called. Um, I love my hair wavy. Like this is just this natural texture. If I just let it dry and then brush it out, this is just what it does. I mean, I didn't do anything to this. Um, you have it, it works great. Awesome. I'm gonna get one of those. You have scalp psoriasis. Hello, eternal bookworm. Oh, that sounds rough. Um, you have to use conditioner afterwards, though. I have very dense but thin hair, if that makes sense. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I don't, well, I'm not using conditioner. I'm just using my uh, hair, my herbal rinse. I'm using my herbal rinse and my, and my natural shampoo and then rosemary and lavender oil in my hair afterwards. I, I'm, doing, I'm doing the rosemary and lavender twice a day. You have similarly... Willow, hello Willow. I have similarly wavy hair and basically just leaving it alone after washing is what seems to work the best. No messing around with mousse gel. Yeah, me too. That's what works the best for me. I just, I wash it, I leave it alone until it's dry, and then I brush rosemary and lavender oil through it with a boar bristle brush. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, okay, I think I missed something. Hi, Lisa C. You're thinking about getting a scalp roller as well. You lost a lot of hair after moving to a city with harder water plus stress. Yeah, I really want to get one. 
Nathan says, I love air drying hair. It feels normal. With heat, your hair gets extra puffy. Yeah, see, that's why I did it because this hairdresser was like, your hair's so thin, you should blow dry it. And I was like, okay, if that makes it look thicker. But it doesn't really make it look thicker. It just makes it look floofier. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I prefer it the way it looks when it air dries. Um, Kayla says, my hair is really thin, so I have to braid it as soon as I get out of the shower. It will tangle so bad. Oh, that's rough. I don't ever braid mine or do anything to mine. I've worn it up a couple of times, but I don't like wearing it up because there, there are places in my scalp that show through when I wear it up. But sometimes I have to, like my boyfriend, he has a, like a T-top on his car, not a T-top, but a sunroof. So he likes, when the weather's nice, he likes to have the top down or the, the sunroof open. And I'm like, God, my hair's going everywhere. So I have to wear it up and then I'm like, oh, it looks so bad. Um, you're using rosemary water every day and your scalp loves it. Yeah, I use rosemary in, in all of my hair products. Like, I use rosemary in my shampoo, my rinse that I'm going to make today, and I just put straight up rosemary oil in my hair. Yeah, it helps your scalp. So It's such a good herb for your scalp. Uh, thank you, all you, for saying you love how long my hair is. I get nervous when it starts getting this long because I feel like it starts to look a little stringy because it's so thin. And so I start thinking about cutting it. But then I'm like, oh, I love the waves, though. And it doesn't wave like this until it gets to this length, you know. Uh, classic Coke. Hello. I don't think I've seen you in here before. Um, I'm a model, and all the hairstylists I work with use this stuff from Color Wow to make my hair thicker. It actually works 10 out of 10. Color Wow. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. You could wrap your hair in a silk scarf while driving. I could. That's a good idea, Scooby-Doo. Or I would look all old school Hollywood like that, too. Like that idea I'm gonna do that you get hungry if your hair smells like rosemary to me it doesn't smell like a food smell it smells like or er, it smells like herby to me but not like in a food way I don't know that makes no sense you know what I'm saying this is the perfect length on you love it thank you Lou and welcome Lou um, you might want to be careful there's a COVID surge in Arkansas right now I could possibly have COVID I don't know um, I need to get a test and try, but I'm, st <laughs> I'm staying away from people. I had to go to the vet today. I have no choice, but I wore a mask when I was there and did not go near anybody. Um, otherwise, I'm not, I'm not going around anybody just in case. Whatever I have, it's making me cough. I don't have congestion. I just have a cough and I had a fever for days. Um, so I don't know what it is. I had, I also had a bladder infection and when I went to the doctor, they didn't test, I didn't have any respiratory sy symptoms when I went to the doctor. I was just having like urinary symptoms. So they're like, oh yeah, you've got a bladder infection, take these antibiotics, which I did and it's gone. Um, but now I'm thinking I also probably had some kind of respiratory th thing at the same time. I just wasn't having symptoms yet. I think my boyfriend's getting sick too. He's, because we thought I just had a bladder infection. He stayed here all weekend and took care of me. And then he texted me today, he's like, I'm sweating and my throat hurts and I'm like, oh shit. Oh my God. So that makes me think it's not COVID because he recently had COVID like right before we met. So I don't think he would get it again. I don't know. I don't know y'all. I don't know. I'm just sick. I'm just sick and it sucks. And I'm just trying to get over it. But I'm feeling so much better. It, it's been the past week. So I started getting sick like last Wednesday and Thursday and Friday were really bad. Um, I had fever. I couldn't sleep. Um, and then the weekend was really bad. But now I'm finally starting to feel better. I, I still have a cough, but um, my fever's gone and I'm, I'm feeling better overall. Like I'm able to work and, and get up and do things. I'm drinking a lot of water. This has become my favorite new cup that I got at TJ Maxx. I love it so much. Um, I've been drinking water out of it nonstop. Okay, let me see what I missed in the chat. You're one of the lucky few who never had COVID. I've had it twice and it sucks. It sucked. Yeah. Here COVID seems to be dead. That's good. Oh, long COVID. I am sorry. Everyone at work is sick. No one in New England gets COVID anymore. Hmm. That's good. 
How did I enjoy Michigan? I loved Michigan. It was not anything like what I thought it would be like. So my, uh, my boyfriend is from around the Southern Michigan, not from there, but he's lived there for 20 years, like around that Southern Michigan area. So he told me that like, it's really beautiful there for like three months out of the year. And we went during that time and it is, it was so beautiful. So many wildflowers and trees and it was just great. It felt like spring in Arkansas there, but, but it was like August and September. It was so gorgeous. I loved it. Yeah, my boyfriend has talked about having like a place in in Michigan, in Southern Michigan for, for the summers only because the the summers in Arkansas are brutal. They are brutal. It is, it's hard to survive. It's hard to survive here. Um, hold on y'all, I gotta check something real quick. That, sorry about that. I thought that was something about, from the vet, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, anyway, I loved Michigan. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. And the, and the properties, like we, we went driving down all these little rural dirt roads and stuff. Everybody's farms and stuff were so beautiful and picturesque. It was just, it was, it was, it was fantastic. I loved it and I want to go back again. No, I did not know Michigan was like that. I know I would love the Pacific Northwest. That's another place I really want to go. Your husband's stepmom wants you to move to Michigan, but you like Northwest Arkansas more, yeah. I, I don't think I would want to move there, but going there for the summer, yes. Yes, the weather was lovely. Pacific Northwest is gorgeous and smells so good. <laughs> okay, y'all, so, oh, you were asking me what we're gonna cook. So, we're gonna cook part a partial dish because one of the things I wanna cook I talked about in my vlog and I was gonna finish it in the live stream, but I didn't get the vlog out. So we're gonna cook chicken is what we're gonna cook. And it's not gonna be that exciting because I'm just gonna cook it in the air fryer. But it's for a dish, we're gonna cook chicken for a dish that I'm cooking in the next vlog. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry y'all, <clears throat> I still have a cough. Not Mexican chicken, unfortunately. It's more like an Italian chicken. So remember when I used to live in Colorado, I used to go to the butcher and I used to get those marinated chicken breasts and I missed those so much. So I decided I'm just gonna make my own. So I got some chicken breasts from Kroger, some like chicken breast cutlets and I marinated them all night. So hopefully they're gonna be good. I'm gonna try to cook them in the air fryer. I've never done this before. Um, you have to go to Pentwater. I know a secret beach where all the teens in the 70s used to smoke. <laughs> I love it. You have to watch chicken part two before watching part one and then part three. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just keep the camera away from the sink, I know. Hi, Emma. I am sick. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> so sorry, y'all. So sorry. Okay. Um... You love food prep. You made the best chili recently. I've been, I've been wanting to make chili. I've been wanting to make chili. Um, I don't know if it's because it's like, it seems like fall is coming. The air is getting cooler. Some of the leaves are starting to turn in my area and I'm so excited for fall. I cannot wait. I, I can't wait for, uh, I know Walmart has a new Halloween fleece leggings. <laughs> I know I gotta get some. I did get two pair of leggings, but, and they're kind of Halloween-ish, but I, I, I didn't see their like real Halloween ones yet. Yeah, poor little Belle Belle back there sleeping. I feel so bad for her. I hope she doesn't try to jump down off the couch by herself. But anyway, let's go in here and let's cook this chicken. I'm gonna bring y'all with me. Okay, so my also my apartment is a disaster because I've just been doing the best I can uh, I do not have any stairs, Olya. You no, know, I don't. I've been doing the best I can trying to keep things straightened up, but honestly, it needs a deep clean really bad. I haven't been able to clean in like two weeks. <coughs> <coughs> so, I'm sorry. We're just keeping it real here. You bought a pair that has a nighttime thing to it with moons and bats? I bought a pair that had like Zodiac stuff, but they weren't the fleece ones. Um, fall is here. <laughs> Humidity plus temperatures and the low positives are nasty, but you're really excited for winter. 
I am excited for fall. I love spooky time, spooky season, my favorite time of the year. And after fall comes winter. I love fall and winter, y'all. Okay, we're in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, it's, I, 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 I did not show you the disaster part over in the dining room. And also my dishes need to be done, but, and the floors, the floors are bad too. I don't know. It, if you were here, you would know, okay? I have very high standards for cleanliness and they are not being met here. <laughs> um, oh my God. I'm gonna cough. I'm gonna cough. So. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. All right. So I'm gonna get out my air fryer, which is under the counter right here. I know, and people are always like, you shouldn't say things like that because other people's places are messier than yours. And I'm like, that doesn't mean mine's not messy just because other people's are worse. I'm sorry. I still feel like it. Re my partner really is a mess right now. Like it really is. Is it more of a gray or tan? It's gray. It's more gray, I think. I don't know, the walls are tan and the carpet's gray, so I don't know. That, it's like when people say you shouldn't say you're fat because other people are fatter than you. Like, that doesn't make me any less fat. Like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, my apartment's a mess. And I still think I'm fat. <laughs> All right, I'm getting my uh, uh, air fryer out. Oh my God, it's got grease on the bottom of it. Oh, jeez. My eyes aren't green. I know, I shouldn't say my eyes are green when there are other people out there who have greener eyes. Jesus. There's grease on the bottom of my air fryer, y'all. I gotta clean. I'm sorry, I gotta get it off my fingers. We cooked chicken thighs in here. Well, my boyfriend cooked chicken thighs in there this weekend, and they were so good. But they got, they were so greasy, y'all. Oh, like, so much. How, you wouldn't believe how much grease can come out of like four chicken thighs. I guess it like poured out the side or something. I don't know. I do love my air fryer though. <laughs> oh, thank you all. Yeah, that's so sweet of you to say. I mean, I know like I'm no longer considered overweight by the BMI scale, which is you know, not that useful anymore, but um, I still feel like I am, so maybe I do have some body dysmorphia. No, I haven't tried making hard boiled eggs in the air fryer. I didn't know you could do that. I know, I'm definitely not saying that, Lisa. I'm just saying to me and, and my lifestyle, my apartment is a mess and it bothers me. Yeah, the fat girl mindset is hard to shake, it is. When you spent so much of your life overweight and then all of a sudden you're not overweight, it doesn't feel like, it is. It, you still feel the same. Yeah. I, I still feel like I could lose more weight, you know. And I feel like I'll feel better when I don't have a loose skin, but that, I feel like that makes me feel like I'm bigger than I am. Cause I have, I just have all this skin hanging off of me. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you my chicken that I marinated in my reusable freezer bag. So these are just chicken breast cutlets that I bought from Kroger. And then I marinated them in Brianna's uh, no sugar Italian dressing. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, weight loss is a psychological process, not just a physical one. That's true. And, like, I haven't psychologically, psychologically caught up to where I am physically. Okay, so here's my chicken. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What happened? My gimbal died. Hold on. I'm still here. Just look at the ceiling. Just look at the ceiling. Sorry. My gimbal died. I just had to plug it back in. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you enjoyed my ceiling, the ceiling view. 
No, not the sink incident. Okay, let me turn you guys around here. So what I'm gonna do is just put this in the air fryer. Let's see. We'll plug her up. And let me get some tongs. We we'll use these. And I'm just gonna put the chicken in here and just air fry it, I guess. I don't, I don't know. We're gonna hope for the best. I probably should have preheated it first, but oh well. I'm already this far. I'll show it to you guys in a second when I, I hope I can get all these in here in one batch. I just have one more to fit in here. It smells really good like the Italian dressing. Okay. So there's, there it is. And let me plug this back in before it dies. Now you're hungry. You couldn't see them? Oh, your comments? I see your comments. Yeah, I see you, Kate. Okay, so. I thought you meant you couldn't see the chicken. I was like, what? So, I don't know. Should we... I think I'm going to... Should I air fry it, roast, bake, grill, or broil? What should I do? Should I just air fry it or should I grill it? You guys tell me. Grill? Kayla says I should grill it. I don't really know what the difference in the settings are, so yeah, we'll try grill. We'll try grill then. All right. All right, everybody's saying grill. Okay, let me put it on grill. 450 for 20 minutes. I will um, turn it. I will turn it like after 10 minutes. And we'll see. Hello, Bella Marie. Okay, so... That's the cooking portion of our show. <laughs> Once it's done, um, or in 10 minutes, I will turn it over. Ooh, Greek food. I love Greek food. Falafel, stuffed grape leaves. Those are the only ones I know, but I love them. <laughs> Domus, stuffed grape leaves. My mom used to always get those for us, and they're so good. So lucky. I don't know what that is. How are herbal studies going? I haven't started them back because I've been sick ever since I got back. But I'm about to start again. I'm about to start again. What kind of air fryer is that? That is the George Foreman. It's like air fryer grill combo. <coughs> Kate says... Uh, Cindy, your reading for me last week was absolutely accurate. Your trip to Salem was so amazing. I'm so glad, Kate. That's awesome. Oh, there's a good place in Fayetteville that you love? Hmm, I need to, I need to go there next time I go to Fayetteville. Watch me drink water on stream. It's so exciting. It's riveting. Um, yeah, I really like that air fryer. It's really nice. It's more expensive than the old one I used to have, but I like that it has all the settings for like grill, broil, air fry, bake, roast, I think, and broil. And it also has a keep warm setting. And it has slow cook. It's a slow cooker, too. It's called C Cosmo's Greek Cafe. Okay, awesome. Did you ever have a Greek grill plate? It's a collection of different meat servings on one big plate. No, but it sounds good. You're going to really start going to therapy soon, Snickerdoodle. The spirits called you a damn fool. You should. You really should. It's so helpful. 
You love a drink water washing countertop stream makes me hot and bothered. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to wash the counters after we're done cooking. You have a Ninja Duel one? I've never had a Ninja one. I had like some kind of one that I got at J like JC Penny or Kohl's on Black Friday. And then when we moved here, I got this one. And I, I really like this one. This one's better than my old one. It's bigger. But this one does tend to get smoky, where my other one didn't. This one tends to produce a lot of smoke. A French door air fryer. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do another tarot reading for sure for you guys. Or another tarot stream. Okay, we're going to have... i got to sit down. I can't just stand here while this cooks. It's still preheating. So... Where should we go? I gotta go somewhere where I can keep the gimbal plugged in. No, I haven't got my oven fixed yet because I've been sick. So, my plan is I'm gonna clean up the apartment really good and then I'm gonna call my landlord. Um, because we need the oven, especially if I'm gonna be cooking for my boyfriend and stuff. So, I'm gonna get it fixed. It's just I've been sick, so everything's basically been put on hold for a week. You would want a tarot reading, but you have nothing to ask the universe these days. That's a good place to be in. <coughs> I plan to do it in the next couple weeks. I have a lot of stuff coming up in September, too. Um, I have two concerts coming up in the next three weeks. No, no three concerts. I have three concerts. Aw, thank you, Olya. I'm getting you some dog food and some stairs that I have for Caesar to help him jump on the couch. Oh, that's so sweet, Olya. Yeah, thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Um, Nathan says, I finished the first part of my diagnostics and psychologist said that I'm just feeling sad. I was like, thank you for saying my reasoning for coming to you. Could never have guessed it. I know. Yeah, of course I'm sad, right? <laughs> You and your girlfriend have been coughing and so tired the last few days, too. Oh, that's not good. Probably have whatever the hell I have. Ooh, I hope you enjoy the beef and broccoli if you make it, Snickerdoodle. Um, okay, yeah, I gotta move, y'all. I can't stand up this long. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. So, I'm gonna take the gimbal. And I'm gonna take my drink. And we're gonna go in here where the lighting is better at least too. Maybe we'll let's sit at my desk for a little bit while we wait on the chicken to cook. I don't think I can plug it in from here. We'll just sit here till it dies. I'll just take myself a little break. A little break. So you can kind of see it's it's messy back there, but oh thank you, Snickerdoodle. This is the only time I let the state healthcare into my mental health, which is terrible in most cases. I will go into a private one, too. That's probably for the best, yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting down. <clears throat> so, I've been slowly doing things, like trying to keep my dishes washed, been trying to keep laundry going, and stuff like that. But, it's like, I can't stand up for long periods of time, so it's been hard to get a lot, a lot of stuff done. I did manage to record a vlog yesterday, though, and go pick up groceries. Um, don't look it up. Don't look what up? Pet safe cozy up? Oh, okay. I won't look it up. I won't look it up. I'll be surprised. I don't know if I have COVID. Um, I didn't get tested or anything. And when I, when, cause when I went to the doctor, uh, I wasn't having any respiratory system. So we just thought it was my, uh, UTI or my, the doctor called it a bladder infection. Um, but then, like, later that night, after, so after I went to the doctor, like, later that night, I started getting a cough. And I was like, shit, I think this is something else. And, I, and so I haven't gone back to the doctor, but I'm starting to feel better now, but I, just, I still have a cough. You have private clinics which have contracts with the state. Therapy is free here, but waiting times are ass, so the therapy is free. That'll be a massive help for sure. Yeah, go ahead and get yourself on the waiting list, man. If we had free therapy here, I would too. We do not. I know I can't catch a break. I mean, I, I've been sick. I'm so tired of being sick. I just want, I, I'm just tired of it. You've been in bed coughing a lot and been really dizzy when you stand for a long time. Yeah, I was getting real woozy and stuff. 
Um, but I'm not today. I'm not. I'm just like kind of a little bit weak and fatigued. But I was getting real woozy and stuff. I couldn't even for like over the weekend. I couldn't even walk the dogs. Like I'm so glad my boyfriend was here. He was like walking the dogs for me. He was cooking for me. He was doing everything. But I couldn't eat. I couldn't even get out of bed. I was just laying in bed like sweating and coughing. It was horrible. And uh, I haven't drank any alcohol in like way, way over a week. Like this is the longest time I've gone without drinking since all of the shit happened. It's been like, I don't know, eight or nine days or something since I've had any alcohol at all. I wanted some. I wanted some this weekend. I, I told my boyfriend, I was like, I want to drink it. He's like, no, <laughs> no, you're not. No, I'm not getting you one. I was like, damn it. <coughs> <coughs> no, he's so sweet. Oh, my God. He's fantastic. And now I think I made, I've made him sick, and I feel really bad. I'm going to take care of him in return. If he's sick, I'm going to take care of him. Okay, I had, I had just heard it preheat, so now we have to wait like 10 minutes. Yeah, the post-infectious cough is almost the worst part to me. You're all right in all other senses, but in your lungs. Are yeah, it's, it sucks. <coughs> <coughs> and this is this is how much I'm coughing with having taken, taken cough medicine. Like, I've taken a cough suppressant, and this is how much I'm coughing. Without it, it'll just be like non-stop coughing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, Midnight Cast, yeah, he knows all about the witchy stuff. He's into it. It was his idea for us to go celebrate the blue moon um, naked. And he, he even, like, he was even, like, he was talking about the goddess. He does, like, tarot readings with me and stuff. Like, he's in, he doesn't really believe in it, but he's totally cool with all that stuff. Um, his brother is uh, pagan, too. So he was very familiar with it. Uh, yeah, our first date was a tarot reading that he set up. He, he does, he, he does tarot readings with my tarot cards for us when he's here sometimes, too. Oh, yeah, he's very open-minded. He is a very open-minded person. Which I appreciate very much. He's very open-minded, he's very free-spirited, He's very much, he very much does not give a fuck. And I love that. I love that in another person. He is very, very good for me. And I wish I could tell you more, like, and maybe I'll talk about it in a vlog. But he's helped me so much with my mental health. With, like, helping me realize my behavioral patterns. He... The thing about him is he's incredibly insightful. He's brilliant. He's brilliantly insightful. Like, the way that he can see into other people's behaviors. He just has an eye for, like, patterns and, like, seeing, seeing, seeing flaws in systems. That's what he does for a living. And he's very good at it. And so he looked... Ah, shit. Sorry. So he looked at me and saw my flaws and told me about them. And it was very incredibly helpful. Um, I, and not in, a, not in a mean way, not in a cruel way, but in a way that was very helpful to me that made, he, he had insight into my behavior that I never had myself. And it, it helped me out so much. Um, I, I just, I don't even know how to describe it. He's fantastic for me. And, and I feel like lucky that he wasn't just like, man, you're fucked up, I'm out of here. But he's like, no, I see what you're doing. I see why you're like that. And uh, here's how you can fix it. And I was like, damn. That, that helped me more than months and years of therapy have helped me. I, I don't know what to say. Like, I really, uh, I don't know. I think I'm falling for this guy, you guys. I do. I've been, I've been uh, missing the chat here. Hydration queen. Heroes are delicious. I'm not crazy about them. 
Oh, I know, yeah, he got me the flowers unprovoked. That was really fucking sweet. Uh, I have emerged like a butterfly. You went to a vampire ball? Oh my god, that sounds awesome. <coughs> that sounds awesome. Your husband used to read tarot? Wow, oh, I'm sorry, my finger's getting in the way. Yeah, having the right person by your side does make a difference. Yeah, love is seeing the worst of someone and still loving them. Yeah, I've seen his... I've seen his flaws. Some of them. I mean, I think. <laughs> yeah, both of us are kind of like uh, drama queens. So, we have to watch that. We have to tell each other, stop drama queen. Just stop drama queening. <laughs> Is Lodane in here? I don't think Lodane's a member. <coughs> <coughs> I need to talk to her. I talk to her in a little while. I'm going to be seeing her in a couple weeks here. Oh, thank you, Olya. Thank you for liking the video. I'm starting to get sweaty. I don't know if it's because it's hot in here um, or just because I'm sick. Does he have much of a temper or is he in control of like anger? Oh, yeah, he doesn't have he doesn't have a temper. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's very he has a lot of self-discipline and stuff like that. <clears throat> At least I've never seen him. He's never gotten, like, angry with me or anything. Yeah. You have to go tuck your little boy in. He says goodnight. Aw, goodnight, Jackson. I'm glad he's aware of your flaws and behaviors. I was afraid there would be problems because flaws or mental health wouldn't be addressed or anything. Yeah, I mean, I was afraid of it, too. But he know he's seen it. Um, he's seen it already. Because, you know, I can't hide what I am. So, he's seen it. And, um, he's still willing to, uh, deal with me. So, I guess it's good. What are his hobbies? Does he like movies, games, um, camping? Well, he loves doing stuff outdoors, if you can't tell. That's why, like, every weekend, like, we're going to do something outside. He loves doing stuff outdoors. He loves camping, but I don't. I can glamp. But I can't primitive camp because I got to have facilities. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, he loves doing outdoor stuff. <coughs> um, he loves doing, like, oh, oh, oh. Holding this in my hand is really hard to do. Sorry. I don't know what. Oh, he also likes, uh, he plays d and I forgot about that. Yeah. He likes playing D&D &D and, like, uh, tabletop games and stuff like that. Uh, okay, I can't say that yet. You gotta watch what I say. But, yeah, he likes stuff like that. He's not really into gaming that much, I don't think. Oh, we're going to the Ren Fair. We have a Ren Fair here um, in October. We're definitely going to go to it. Yeah, I need a toilet and a shower. Me too. Oh shit, the chicken. Let's go check it, y'all. I'm just gonna handhold y'all because my thing um, died. Oh, it's only been going for... It's still got 12 minutes left on it. Let's see. Can you see it? I don't know. Um, he plays D&D. &D, and so... He was, there's something I can't tell you that we're going to be doing soon. There's something I can't tell you yet that we're going to be doing soon together that involves, may involve D&D. &D. So I keep wanting to say something about it, but I can't tell you yet. Um, but anyway, yeah, he plays D&D. &D. He has like a D&D &D group he plays like every week. But I don't. Um, okay, I'm going to flip the chicken. Hold on, let me get the... Uh, gimbal and get it plugged in because it's really hard for me to hold this and like do anything else at the same time. Oh, okay. 
thank you for bearing with me. I should have charged this beforehand, but I didn't realize um, how uncharged it was. All right, turn on. I'm not sure I would like Dean Deer or not. I'm not sure. Like, I like the idea of it, but at the same time, I don't know. Hold on. Sorry. I'm going to shake you around a little bit. No, come on. There we go. right group of people I would enjoy it and so Lodane and Lodane was talking about kind of trying to teach me and doing like a two-person thing because she plays and I thought I would really have fun doing it with her but like doing it with complete strangers or like my boyfriend's friends I don't know I don't know you know and, I, and, and because I have no experience I don't know how to play it like I would feel bad just going into a group and be like hey guys I have no idea what I'm doing here you know okay let's uh Let's fork this chicken. Let's flip it over. Oh yeah, it's looking good. It's got some nice like grill marks on it. Okay. Now we got another 10 minutes on that. Yeah, I can practice with Lodane, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, and we may, we may play around with it when I see her, um, the week, whatever week September 27th is in, I'm going to see her. So I'm going to go pick her up in Oklahoma <coughs> and bring her back here. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and we're going to go to Dallas and see Time Cop 1983. And then I'm going to bring her back to Oklahoma from Dallas, probably. Um, I saw something about The Sims. I have no idea what any of that means, Nathan. I am way behind on whatever's going on in The Sims. And then the week before that, so not this coming up week. Well, like in 10 days, no. What's today, Wednesday? Eight days from now? Eight days from now, I'm going to Dallas with my boyfriend um, to see The Midnight. I'm so excited my favorite bands ever and I've seen every one of their shows almost except for the last one I didn't get to go to because I think I was I don't know if I was pregnant or I was recovering from the miscarriage last time so I didn't get to go see them um, but I'm gonna see them this year in Dallas and Dallas is only a four-hour drive from here so it's gonna be awesome hello <laughs> Dane needs to move to Arkansas and make it easier for both of you I know <laughs> she used to live really like close to Arkansas closer to Arkansas than she does now but I think she likes it where she is. And it's not that far of a drive for me. Like, I don't consider five hours to be a long drive anymore. Because I'm so used to driving long distances now. It doesn't bother me. So, yeah, I'm going to see her soon. Got, and then I've got another concert I'm going to. So, um, that's here in Hot Springs. Hopefully, I get to go. Hopefully, I go to that. Because it's like the day after we get back from the midnight. Yeah, Arkansas couldn't handle that much awesomeness. I know, I know. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a busy um, couple of weeks coming up. Oh, Critical Role? I think I've heard of that. Yeah. I know, I wish you could see her more. Um, and then after, after this, we don't really have any plans, but maybe I'll go back and visit her sometime in October. We could do something for Halloween. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for Halloween this year, y'all. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna dress up as something. My boyfriend likes to dress up too, so we're gonna dress up. We're gonna do something fun. Come and drive up to Boston. <laughs> Maybe someday I will. Melba. That's so funny, Nathan. I showed him the pictures of me when I was dressed up like Melba. He thought it was cute. Um, but I don't think I'll do Melba again. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I haven't decided. I don't know if we'll do a duo or not. I don't know. Atrociously evil witch. That's a good idea. 
come to Fayetteville for Halloween? That's not a bad idea. I like haunted houses. I want to do a haunted house. Morticia Adams, yeah. If I had my skin surgery, I'd do Bella Goth. I don't think I could pull it off yet. Morticia and Gomez, I love that idea. <laughs> we got six minutes left on the chicken. And then I'm going to make my hair rinse because I ran out this morning. I have not been to the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, but it's definitely something I want to do. But we are going to stay at the Stanley um, in Colorado in October. And um, we're going to stay at the Stanley Hotel, which is the, the haunted hotel that inspired the movie The Shining. It's, I've been there before. It's fantastic. But now I'm going with him, and we're going to see Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats. And that is like the most fucking awesome thing I could think of to do for spooky season. And I got us a room in the haunted part of the hotel, too. Because last time when I stayed there, I stayed in, like, the new hotel that's not haunted. No, I'm like, no, we're going in October. We're going to see Uncle Acid. We are staying in the spooky part. We're staying in the haunted part, damn it. Yeah, we're going to do the, a ghost tour at the Stanley, too. Yeah. So that's going to be super fun. And I'm looking forward to seeing Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats. My boyfriend does not give a shit about Uncle Acid, but he's going with me because he's awesome. He's going to like it after he sees it. I don't know. Maybe he won't. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Ne Nephi, Utah has a haunted house that was on a ghost show. Wow. Don't kiss a decaying old lady in a tub. I won't. I won't. I'm a little creeped out by going to stay there, but I am looking forward to it. I think it's going to be super fun. And uh, they have, there's like a whiskey bar in there, which is really cool. And they have like a fancy restaurant that I want to go eat dinner at. Yeah, I want to do all that fun stuff. So I want to do something this weekend, but I don't know if we're both sick. I'm not going to be able to do anything. But the weather's supposed to be really nice this weekend. And like, I don't know, I'm just so sick of being cooped up in my apartment. Like I've been here for a week and there were like four or five days I was just in bed for like four or five days. And you get so sick of it, you know? The Crescent Hotel has like a creepy aura. Yeah, I want to go so bad. I want to go on the ghost tours they never have, they have near Halloween, but it's more expensive. Oh yeah, I bet. We have a ghost tour here in Hot Springs too I'm going to do. Me and my boyfriend are going to be doing, going to Salem Mass. Oh, I want to do that so bad on Halloween. I'm so jealous. Your town has a haunted infirmary. Ghost hunters visit frequently. They do flashlight tours overnight. Oh my gosh, that sounds like When you used to live in Oklahoma, there's a huge Ren Fair. There's, that's amazing in Musco Muscogee. Oh, that would be fun. I love Ren Fairs. There's also some kind of castle in Oklahoma. I saw a billboard for it when we were driving through there. Like Oklahoma Castle or something. And they do some kind of Halloween thing there. I wanted to look into that because it's only like a four hour drive. I want to do a Halloween castle. I don't even know what that means. I want to do it. Okay, we've got three minutes on the um, three minutes on the chicken. Now I'm going to take that out and then we're going to do the um, herbal hair roots. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I'm going to clean the counter. I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to clean the counter. i got to go get my water. Your state has a haunted ghost bus tour. Oh, I love that. Hydration, baby. Drinking, trying to drink a lot of water. Fright Kingdom in New Hampshire is the best. Mm, I really want to visit New England sometime. Like, that's on my bucket list. Definitely want to. And I want to do it in the fall, too. I want to visit in the fall. I'm going to have to cut one of these chicken breasts open and make sure they're done. Like, some of them are bigger than others, so I want to make sure the big ones are done. I don't want any raw chicken in my recipes. So, for, so a couple of these chicken breasts I'm going <coughs> to I'm gonna use in the recipe I'm cooking. And then a couple of them I'm just going to eat as, as a meal. 
I will. I will definitely let you know. I will, I will always let you guys know before I go somewhere. But I definitely want to. Maybe next year. Yeah, I heard that fall in New England is really pretty. And I want to go. I want to go to Salem is where I want to go. I want to go to like the Witch Museum in Salem. I think that'd be so fun. I'm almost out. I've almost drank all this water. All right, one minute, one minute left, y'all. We can see if our chicken's done. And so, uh, another thing that I'm going to do in, in the next few weeks coming up in my vlogs is I'm going to be making more herbal products. So, I want to get back into using all my own homemade stuff. When I was really depressed there for a while, I was just using whatever, just buying stuff from the store because I just didn't have it in me to make things. But I want to make lotion. I want to make face, face wash, face cream. I want to make everything I could possibly make on my own, um, and I have a lot of I have a lot of the supplies that I bought a long time ago to make all this stuff, and I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. So that's going to be coming up in my future vlogs as well. So if you're interested in seeing me make like more bath and body stuff, going to be doing that for sure. Um, okay, we're done. Oh, okay. Some of them got a little bit overcooked. The smaller ones got a little bit overcooked. Um, let me get something to take these out in. Okay, that's not going to work. I like snow in the cold, too. I like winter. Alright. So, these got a little bit done. That's okay. I'll eat those. Um, the two little small ones, they got, they got done. The bigger ones look about perfect to me. They'll definitely work for my recipe. And I got, now I got to clean this thing too. See, the bigger ones look perfect. That's how you like your chicken. I'm gonna let these cool off a little bit before I cover them. Um, yeah, so I got that done. I'm gonna have to clean the air fryer. So I should probably clean it now. But I don't want to. I'll clean it. Um, and then so what I but I wanna what I wanna do now is make my hair rinse. So um, let me get this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna have to clean this out too. It's full of salmonella, chicken juice. And I'm gonna unplug the air fryer and just let it cool off a little bit. I have learned that if you clean it when it's hot, it's easier to clean. But uh, I wanna get this rinse made. Sorry, I'm getting a little loopy here. Okay use my stainless steel pan as always and we're gonna measure out some water first of all you hate winter and cold weather oh man I don't I love it so I'm gonna do sorry had to close the cabinet behind you uh, I'm gonna do about 12 ounces of water is what I've been doing for my rinse and my shampoo so let me fill that up. Oh my God. Sorry. I don't know what's up with the gimbal. Let me turn you around here. So I'm gonna get about 12 ounces of water. Okay to go a little bit over and then I'm gonna put this in my pan over here on the stove and then we're gonna measure out the herbs which I have to go get out of the herb cabinet <coughs> let me see 
Let me turn the camera around. Oops. I'm just going to sling you all over the place. You love lightning storms? I love storms. Yeah, I love storms too. So we're going into the herb cabinet here. And we are going to get out my hair herbs with our sage. Take the sage in here. And then we're going to go get the rosemary. Most important one, which I'm getting a little low on rosemary there. I need to order some more soon. And finally, I use lavender. These are the three herbs that I use in all of my hair products. There's my lavender. Hello! Social llama. Oh, okay, thank you, Olya. I will uh, check into that. Thank you for sending me your info. Okay, and then let's get our... Yes, I am going to grow my own. I want... Dang it! Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. My gimbal just will not cooperate. Let me just put it down. Yeah, I do want to grow my own herbs. I'm probably going to do it next year because it didn't work out for me this year. Um, definitely want to start my own herb garden, though. All right, I need my... Oh, my rosemary and lavender. Here's rosemary. My lavender is in my bathroom. I got to go get it. And I need my preservative, which is my GeoGuard ECT, which I'm getting low on that too. All right. My plant corner is not doing well. It's not doing well, y'all. Um, my lemon balm died completely. It's dead. Okay. My aloe is still doing pretty well. Um, I never repotted these, so the begonia is dead. But this one is still thriving. My uh, sea monkeys are all dead. And this one, this plant somehow is still alive. I have been neglecting the hell out of my plants. And I'm about to do some hardcore pruning and care. I know it's so sad. It's so sad. I'm about to go and take care of all my plants. Uh, spruce them up. And uh, get rid of the ones that are dead. And just fix all of this. Because it's a mess right now. Yeah, not good. Um, my uh, philodendron and my ZZ plant and my snake plant are still doing well. So is my pothos. My favorite plant, my Chinese evergreen, got infested with mites and is now dead. I'm very sad. I'm very sad. And I just, I just realized it yesterday. I was like, why are these leaves turning yellow? Oh shit, there's bugs all over this. And yeah, uh, that sucks. But my pothos over here, look at this, it's still thriving. Yep, I hate mites too. I don't even know where they came from. So I gotta get a new Chinese evergreen and I'm gonna go through and, why am I shaking, damn. Um, I am gonna go through and take care of all my plants, do all my plant care very soon. I'll probably do it in a vlog. And we'll, we'll salvage what we can salvage. Um, it was just, there was a period there where I just was not like, I was not taking care of myself. I wasn't taking care of my plants. The only thing I was taking care of were my dogs. That was like the only thing I had in me. Um, but I'm ready to start taking care of my plants and get more plants and do better with them. Okay. Now I need to put you guys back on the gimbal. Where did it go? Where did it come from? Where did it go? I gotta plug it in right now. Sometimes when your blood sugar is low, you get shaky like that. I don't think mine is because I just ate not too long ago. But I don't know. It could be. All right, hold on. I got to put you guys down for a second. And now I'm going to put you back on. Sorry about this. This is, I know this must be really annoying. So now I'm going to measure out my herbs here and let me get my scale. 
So I'm just going to measure out one ounce of herbs like I always do. Um, I should have done it in the pan first before. Mm, I've never had low blood sugar on the carnivore diet, so I don't know that I know of anyway. And I'm gonna, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my pan with water and just zero it out. And I'm going to put, what I want to do is put a half ounce of rosemary in here. So I want one ounce of herbs total. So I'm going to do a half ounce of rosemary, about. It doesn't have to be exact, but like close, okay. There's a half ounce of rosemary. And um, the reason why I do the most rosemary is because it's the herb that's best for hair loss. And it's also good for brunette hair. And then sage, I'm going to do a quarter ounce of sage and a quarter ounce of lavender, which are also two herbs that are good for uh, brunette hair. Sage especially is. Okay, so I want to get it up to 0.75. All right, oops, perfect. And then I've got some dried lavender over here. We're gonna do a quarter ounce of that. So this is the exact same formula that I use for my shampoo that I use in my rinse. Um, Cause I just, it's just a good combo for my hair personally. So we're gonna get this all the way up to one ounce. And then, ah, crap, dang it. This gimbal is driving me crazy today. Okay, stop it. Stop it, gimbal. Jesus. Um, and also, all of these herbs are good for, um, hair, for, for increasing hair growth, which I need. Especially the rosemary. That's why I use so much of it. All right. And I'm gonna get my wooden spoon that I use, stir it all up, and we're gonna bring this to a boil. I wanna bring you guys over here, but the gimbal does not wanna cooperate today. Next time I'll make sure I have it charged up. I, I forgot that I had taken it on vacation and it wasn't charged. But anyway, I'm just stirring the herbs up into the water. And then I'm gonna put them on the heat. Just over like medium heat until it comes to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, we are like, not, not a rolling boil, just the beginning of a boil. We'll put the lid on it and let it simmer for 10 minutes. And then I gotta find my um, my vinegar. Here's the vinegar that I use. Bragg's Organic Raw Unfiltered Apple Cider Vinegar um, with the mother. Oh yeah, I love watching scary movies around Halloween, yeah. I do. I want to watch the, uh, I want to watch, oh my God, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It keeps saying orientation is locked to rotate device back. I don't know what that means. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's so weird. Uh, it's never done that before. I don't know if it's because it's dying, but it's plugged in. You wouldn't recommend putting it in your eye? I hope not. <laughs> it's haunted. That's what it is. It's haunted. It's possessed. It's possessed by something. Oops. Um, I gotta go get my lavender oil. Y'all just enjoy the view of my kitchen while I go get my lavender oil. Okay, I 
I'm getting really low on lavender oil, so I need to order some more of that. Because I need, oh my God, you piece of crap, stop it. I don't know why it keeps doing that. <laughs> I came back, I was like, Jesus. Yeah, I gotta order some more lavender oil. And I'm gonna need some more rosemary soon. I have enough for a couple more, probably a couple more batches. It fell the second I left. Of course it did, of course it did. You're getting tipsy. Oh, and then I need a, I gotta get a funnel too. Let me go get a funnel. If this thing turns the minute I walk away, I swear to God. Do not fall. Oh my God. You, why is it doing this? You piece of crap. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm not doing it. I swear I'm not doing it. I don't understand. It's never done that before. <laughs> oh my God. I know. I wonder how long it's going to take this time. Let me make sure. Let me try like make sure it's clamped on there. I don't know. Let me plug in my phone too. I'm afraid it's going to die. I don't have a smaller gimbal. I only have one gimbal. Okay, it's starting to come to a boil, y'all, so I'm going to turn the heat down to low. I'm going to put the lid on so that that doesn't all escape. And I'm going to set a kitchen timer for 10 minutes. All right, we're going to let it sit there over low heat for 10 minutes, and then we're going to strain it out. It did not turn this time. You're not, you're not going to tip. I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow it. <laughs> you need a reading of this room. Let me check on my chicken. Has it cooled off? It looks good actually, doesn't it? I'm, I'm going to have some of this for lunch. Some chicken for lunch. And maybe some sliced up cheese. Can you use your thing you got from Walmart? Um, I can, but I don't like using it because it doesn't stabilize very well. And if I have to touch the screen to look at the chat, it makes the video all shaky. That's why I like the gimbal because it stabilizes. Um, but I think I fixed it. I think I fixed whatever was causing that. The sh it's the shadow people. I know. They're fucking around in here, y'all. <laughs> I want to go sit down for 10 minutes and talk to you guys in there, but I know the gimbal will not behave if I do that. Let's try. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's all right. I'm going to take you in my hands. I'm going to cradle you in my arms and we're going to go in here. We're gonna go in here and sit down for a spell. Come sit a spell, that's what my grandma used to say. My southern granny. My mamma, actually, is what we used to call her. My herb cabinet is open. I'm shaky. I gotta sit, I gotta sit this down. Hold on. There we go. That's all right. I can see. I can see into your soul through this camera. Counter and ceiling content. That's what you're going to get plenty of from me. <coughs> um, also, I have been noticing that there's a lot of spooky decor in the stores lately. So, I might do a vlog where we go look for some spooky decor. But you know what? I don't want it to just be spooky decor. It's got to be spooky decor that can be all year round decor. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to take it down. I want to, I want to find stuff that I can use all the time, like my skulls and stuff. But I don't know, I might get, I'll probably get some seasonal stuff too. Yeah, spooky decor is our season. 
Yeah, some purple fairy lights. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'd like to have that in here. The <laughs> spooky decor is draining your bank account this year. I haven't gone. I haven't gone yet, but it's out there. I saw it when we went to TJ Maxx. Are your hair getting more curly? Um, no, this is just the nat natural texture of my hair if I don't blow dry it. So I was talking about that earlier. How I don't like I like to air dry it because then it gets this texture. You had a Halloween welcome mat year round. <laughs> I, a lot of times I can find stuff that I can use year round that doesn't like specifically say like Halloween stuff on it, you know. Um, like I have this little skull. I got this skull at TJ Maxx. This little guy right here. I got it at TJ Maxx last year. And I think it was like $4 or something. It was like super cheap. And I keep him out on my desk all the time. He sits right beside Skellig. They have a lot of stuff at my- oh, oh, shit! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, you were very precari precari precariously perched there. You love the decor on the wall behind me? Oh, that, like, church window thing? I think I got that at Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Uh, I need- I want more wall stuff. I want to fill this whole wall right here with just, like, random stuff that I like. Um, but I kind of like, I don't know, I was doing that and then like things got crazy in my life and I don't know, I want to look for some more stuff. I've been to the thrift stores around here and they are just not great. I want to spend a day like going to Little Rock and going thrifting. I think that'd be really fun. Go to the Little Rock thrift stores and see what kind of cool stuff we could find. Um, I did find a couple things at the thrift stores around here. Like I found that brass candle holder, that Nikola Tesla shirt. Um, what else did I get? It's the only thing I remember. Oh, my Jack Daniels glass. Which I've made good use of. <laughs> you have to go an hour away to go thrifting because your town sucks. Yeah. Mine was, it was disappointing. It was disappointing. When I went to the thrift stores around here. Like, they just weren't, weren't good. Um. Aw, oh, thank you so much, uh, girl with the plum bob tattoo. Do you still use that journal I made you? Yes. Um, the roses on the herb cabinet, yeah, they came, the roses came off when I was moving. So I just put them up there. But the journal is right down here on my bookshelf. Yeah, I do use it. I love it so much. Yeah, it's right over here. Yeah, those roses came off in the box whenever I was moving. But it still looks really good. Everything else is still on there. <laughs> I love it so much. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get be getting back into my green green witchery more. I've really been feeling inspired to do that lately. Um, I've been having like a lot of spiritual experiences and spending a lot of time in nature. And I want to get back into really practicing. Um, so I was going to start doing that this week, but I got sick. Oh, the roses are loose. You can just place them in the middle of the book. Oh, I thought they were attached. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> and then they did, then I guess they didn't come apart. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it so much. It's the most beautiful thing I own, I think. I adore it. It's fantastic. I love it so much. And so I'm gonna use it more too. Um, as, as part of my journaling as well for my green green witchery. And I have so many books I need to read, y'all. Uh, yeah, I still have a P.O. box. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's, it will be in the description bo box of this video. It's not right now. Because whenever I schedule my streams on my phone for the mobile streams, um, I don't have access to, like, my whole little thing that I, I post with all my, uh, information on it like I do on my computer. So, when I make it public later, I put all that information in. Uh, has the weather finally cooled down for you? It's a little bit. It's get, it's only getting up to like the like upper 80s now, which is really nice considering we were like at 105 every day. So yeah, upper 80s feels great to me. Like I can comfortably wear jeans outside now instead of like having to wear dresses or shorts because you're just going to melt if you wear anything on your limbs. <laughs> you were in Arkansas. Oh, yeah, I think I saw your comment about that. 
it, it, it was, the summer here was brutal and I'm so glad it's over. I'm so glad it's coming to an end because I just, I can't take anymore. It was, it was hot soup. Yeah. Yeah. The air is soup. It, it's just miserable. But all the other seasons here are fantastic. Spring, fall, and winter are wonderful here, but summer is brutal. Uh, I, we wanted to try and go swimming this weekend one more time, but I don't know. I, th I don't think it's going to be warm enough. I don't know. But we might try to go swimming one last time. <laughs> but if not, we're going to do something else I'm not going to tell you guys about because I'm going to vlog it. You couldn't live there because of the humidity. I mean, I'm used to the humidity. It's just, it does get oppressive in the summertime. It does. I completely understand if, you do, if you're not used to it. But I love it here so much anyway. Like, despite, that's the one flaw of living here. Is <coughs> the <coughs> hot, humid summers. And it's only for like two months of the year that it's really unbearable. It's usually July and August that are really bad. Maybe the beginning of September. It's all, It's still awful even though you get used to it. Yeah, I completely agree. It's been rainy there in Boston. It's been rainy here too. Um, the last couple days. It's been nice. I like it when it's rainy and gray and overcast and cool. Um, I think like one of the days coming up, it's only going to get up, up into the like uh, upper 70s. And I'm like, holy crap, it feels like winter to me now. I'm really looking forward to the fall days. I can't wait to show you guys the foliage here in the fall. It is incredibly beautiful because we have so many trees. You had thunderstorms last weekend. Your summer's only getting up to the 70s and 80s, but the humidity makes it awful. It also doesn't cool here during night since the sun doesn't set. Ooh, where are you? <laughs> you get out of the shower and your hair looks like you've been struck by like, oh, I just heard the timer, y'all. Let's go uh, check it out. Let's go see what's up. Northern Sweden. Oh, yeah. I would love to visit there. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good in here, y'all. Here's our concoction. Okay, I didn't want it to be boiling. I didn't want it to boil. All right, um, let me see if I can put you guys back on the gimbal. Let's see how the gimbal's gonna behave for us now. Probably not well. Give you a close up of my face. There's that ceiling content you've been looking for. All right, I'm gonna keep you guys here while I do this part. So what I'm gonna do is strain this. I'm gonna get my strainer. Okay, I am gonna strain this into this measuring cup. always pour the herbs all over the stove when I do that. So that gave us about almost a cup of liquid. So then I'm going to pour in the apple cider vinegar. And I'm just going to pour in about that much. It's like 300 milliliters now. Okay, let me, uh, let me do that. That's better. Okay, and then I'm going to pour in my essential oils. So I'm going to do about five or six drops of lavender. All right, and I'm going to do about five or six drops of rosemary. And then I'm going to do a dropper full of my preservative, the GeoGuard ECT. And that just keeps any mold or it keeps any mold or fungus or anything from growing in there when I keep it in my shower. And I'm going to give it a little stir. 
So there it is. Woo! Smells strong. <laughs> but it makes your hair look beautiful and shiny. It helps with hair growth. So now where is my funnel? And now I'm going to funnel all this into my, this is my bottle that I keep in the shower. Funnel that into the bottle. And that should uh, last me for a couple of weeks. So I use my homemade shampoo and then I follow with my apple cider vinegar rinse. And I wash my hair every other day with this, which you probably should not wash your hair that much, but I do. I don't know what to say. I feel gross if I don't. Okay, y'all. It's made. So we got chicken cooked. We got apple cider vinegar rinse made. And now I just have to clean all this up. So... I am still feeling a little bit under the weather, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today while I did the things that I needed to get done. I really appreciate it, and uh, thanks for chatting with me and everything. I always have so much fun with you guys, and I enjoy hanging out with you, so thank you. Thank you so much for being members. I really appreciate your support. And uh, anybody, if you're watching this back on YouTube and you want to join us for these members-only live streams, um, you can become a member by clicking the little join button down below or the link in the description box if you don't see the join button. Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm sick. I'm under the weather. Doing my best. Wanted to show up for you and do what I can. <laughs> Thank you so much. And also, like I said, there'll be another vlog coming out today. It, it's going to be later than usual, but there will be one out today. And yeah, uh, keep, your, keep Bella in your prayers. I think she's going to be doing fine, but... Um, yeah, the gimbal behaved towards the end, finally. I don't know what was going on in the middle there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. And I will see you next week in our next members only stream. And I will see you in the next vlog, which will be later tonight. Bye, guys. I hope you have a great night and great rest of your week. I will see you soon. Bye.